Hey everyone, welcome back to Crown Geek. In this video, I will be explaining that how to fix slow performance issue after update on your Windows 10 or Windows 11. So after updating your Windows operating system, if you are also having the slow performance issues, apply these recommended 4 to 5 solution that I'm going to share in this video. And I'm pretty sure that you will be noticing a great change. The very first thing that I recommend that you should run the Windows Update Troubleshooter. On your Windows 10 or Windows 11, click on the search box, type troubleshoot and from the suggestion choose troubleshoot settings. Click on it. Now here you'll find an option additional troubleshooters. Click on it. And on the top, you will find an option of Windows update. Click on it and then click on run the troubleshooter. So this will start detecting the problem and if there are any problem it will let you know that where the problem is and even may give you the suggestion to fix it. But if there is no problem it will let you know that it could not identify any problem. So on my end you can see it says troubleshooting couldn't identify the problem. But on your end it fit give you any suggestion follow the instruction apply the fixes. Once done click on close. Click on close. Now in the next setting, you have to run few command to repair any corrupted file to repair your system file or your Windows 10 or Windows 11. The click on the search box and type CMD. And then from the suggestion choose run as administrator. The black window will be coming up. Now you will be getting the command in the description. You need to copy them and paste here and run one by one. Okay, so the first command will be you can copy this from the description come to the black window paste here hit enter once done copy the second command come to the black window paste again run and this may take some time so you have to wait and then you need to copy the third command and run it once the second one is completed so it's almost completed we will wait until it's been done so now the second command has been completed and we will paste the third command then hit enter again and again this will take some time so we will wait until it's been completed okay now so we have to run the final command that will be sfc space forward slash scan now and then hit enter now this will take some time so what we can do this was the last command so we can minimize it and we can check this after applying all the other solutions so you can minimize it and now in the next solution you have to delete all the files under the software distribution folder so click on the file explorer box or you can use the shortcut key that is windows and letter e once this comes up click on this pc then go to local disk C. Then you have to look for the Windows folder. Double click on it to open. And now here you have to look for software distribution folder. So you can keep scrolling down until you find software distribution. Double click on it. And now you need to delete all the file from here. Press Ctrl and letter A key to select all. Then press the delete key to delete them all. Whichever is not able to delete, you can click on the box and then click on skip. Now what you have done, this basically was the file which was being downloaded and installed for the Windows update. So you don't need any longer, so you can delete from here. Once you are done, close it. And now click on the search box again and type here clean MGR. From the suggestion, choose disk cleanup. So disk cleanup will be optimizing and coming up now. And the disk cleanup box is here. Now you will see that the very first file windows update cleanup 4.9 gigabyte. So these are the file that you don't need anymore, but they're still occupying a lot of space about four gigabyte. Then you have Microsoft Defender antivirus around 41 MB. So what you can do, you can check all the file here. Let's check all of them then click on ok now depending that how much data you have over here it will take some time to clear it okay so kindly wait until this 
cleaning up drive C has been completed. So once done the box will disappear and then you have to finally apply the last solution where you have to disable the unnecessary startup. So basically if you have any kind of application uh, installed on your PC you need to disable the startup from them because while starting up your computer they come along with your computer they even slow down your booting up and even the performance of the computer. So what you have to do you just need to click on the search box type here ms config then from the suggestion choose system configuration system configuration box will be up now here you will find the boot option click on the boot tab then click on advanced options now here you will find an option of number of processors so probably this box will be unchecked you need to check this box and then from the drop down you need to choose either four or 8 if you have the 8 available then you can go with 8 if 4 then go with 4 and if 2 then go with 2 okay so the maximum will be 8 once done click on ok now click on startup then click on open task manager and now you have to look for the application that you don't need while starting up your computer I have a steam application I have already disabled for that but I don't need that steam should come along with my computer I can manually open it so if you have any application like steam or phone link Microsoft team Microsoft Edge OneDrive then you need to disable from here okay make a right click on it and instead of enable you will be getting an option of disable okay so look for the entire list here disable all the programs that you don't need while starting up your computer just disable them all then close it then click on apply then click on ok now it will ask you to restart click on the restart and i'm pretty sure that you will be noticing the solutions and changes on your pc that the performance has been boosted now if it, this doesn't give you the enough performance try waiting have some patience i'm very sure that after making some restart you will be surely getting the improvement if you found this video helpful make sure that you hit the like and please consider subscribing to the channel it's absolutely free and motivates me a lot to give you more valuable content so that's all i will see you in the next video Bye bye